Hey guys, happy Wednesday to you out there. Just a little update on the Panzer III diorama. I cut up some little rubble pieces and thrown them out. Put some water under the bridge. Little fishing dock. And the paint, yeah, well, all I had available was some watercolors and I don't think I like the way they looked, so I may have to get some texture items, some blocking. What if I'd use tile grout or just <laughs> go scoop up some dirt from the backyard and sprinkle it on some glue? That's part of all of what I've got to figure out. I am kind of proud of my street lamps there. Looked and looked and looked for some kind of clear beads to put at top, and it ended up just being a stir straw for coffee and the the loop part at the top there is just a cut off uh, paper clip and then I took some styrene with a hole punch to make this uh, lampshade and of course the rounded off part there at the top is uh, has some buttons that my wife had in a sewing kit and I just took the Dremel tool and kind of shaped them up the way I wanted up and super glued them on they seem to be holding so far uh, here's another little project I've started it's some sculpy clay trying to make maybe some old ruined walls instead of using this styrofoam paper stuff I kind of bummed out. I saw a toaster oven on uh, Craigslist for free. Uh, but uh, by the time I called, somebody had snatched it up already. So I got my peepers open for that. I don't want to put this stuff in my kitchen oven. Find out six months from now I've been doing that and I'm growing a tail. As cool as that would be, I just don't think I'm up for it. And the rest of it's just the workbench type stuff. If you don't mind take me taking the time. Dollar Tree item. Some foam. I guess this is used to make maybe flower uh, arrangements or something. And I thought it could be carved up to be some kind of ruins or who knows. Something cool. Got the wire. Yo, let me take, me, take you over to my lumber yard here. There it is. There's my lumber yard. And this lumber is guaranteed to be 99% uh, dry. As to where it's 50% dry if you go get lumber from Home Depot. <laughs> what else? I guess that's what's going on on my bench here. My so-called bench. So, there's the mascot right there. What's up, Bo? You dingleberry. Uh huh. Life is good in Dogville. Life is good in Dogville. That's it, guys. There it is. Thanks for watching. If you know what you're doing with these dioramas and, and you'll subscribe and think you have some knowledge to pass on, I'll gladly subscribe back and watch every video you have because I'm having a blast with this stuff. But if there's some money saving tips out there that I could pick up, I could sure use them because I, I don't know to go purchase woodland scenic stuff and all these plastic uh, the vehicles the kits I can see buying but I don't know 25 bucks for a couple of rubble walls I don't know I mean if that's what you're into that's cool me I'm so broke that if I've got the 20 some odd dollars to spend it's going to be on a vehicle kit or artillery or a plane stuff that I would definitely find a little difficult to make you want to see somebody do that check out Frankie Mr. Frankie Day that, that dude builds some stuff out of paper that <laughs> uh, he's making the plastic toy companies jealous so yeah if you want to subscribe and you've got some information to pass on or Maybe even like something you saw here, or have some questions, fire away, I'll try to answer them. 
that's it hope everybody's having a good day and uh, yeah enjoy your model making see ya